know that. All we have to do is stop the steal, and we have it made. Just stop the steal. We can't let that happen again. Last week, Crooked Joe signed an executive order that is pro-invasion, pro-child trafficking, pro-woman trafficking, pro-human trafficking, and pro-drug dealers. It's a pro-drug dealer bill. It's weak. It's ineffective. It's bullshit what he signed. Yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to call it state of state of it. <laughs> That's turning out to the... be like a deplorable. Remember deplorable when Hillary said deplorable? She said deplorable, and that was not good. That was not a good word to use. This, this <laughs> word seems to be catching on a little bit, but in a much more positive way than deplorable. Mm -hmm. That was not good. She actually said deplorable and irredeemable. Do you remember? And I heard it. And I said, wow, that irredeemable is really a bad word. And it didn't catch on. What caught on was deplorable. So what the hell do I know about politics, right? Mm -hmm. Millions of people will continue pouring in. And uh, they're coming right through the border like they have never come through before. What he signed means nothing. It, in fact, nope. it makes it easier. In my nope. opinion, it opens the border still further. We nope. have people coming into our country. We're going to end up making, and I say this and I say it all the time, November 5th will be the most important day in the history of our country. Yep, 100%. 100%. If Joe Biden truly wanted to sign an executive order to stop the invasion, right now all he needs to do is say, I hereby immediately reinstate every single border policy of a gentleman named Donald J. Trump. You know, he doesn't need anything. He could have done this. He's a little late, by the way. Number one, he's Years late. Number late. two, it's meaningless what he signed. It's just a PR ploy, yeah. as usual. It's disinformation, misinformation, talk. They talk, talk, talk as our country goes down the tubes. Less than four years ago, I handed Crooked Joe the strongest, most secure border in the history of our country. We never had a border like that. We built 571 miles of border wall. It was unbelievable. We ended all catch and release.